Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Today we are going to make a fruit salad. Yes we are. This is the very cute Pretty Pink Posh Fruit Salad stamp set. This is new, part of the June 2023 release over at Pretty Pink Posh Shop. Um, I love the size of these and I love um, how the images here are just so super easy to color in. So I will be using this to create my fruit salad. And although we're not gonna make a fruit salad, we're just gonna make a bowl of fruit with one fruit. I'm partial to the peach and then the peach slice too. So we're gonna use the coordinating dies to cut those images out. To put our, uh, our fruit in our bowl, we're using the fruit bowl die. So cute. This is a three piece die set. It does have some stitch detail, which I love. And then there's an open spot that actually you could even create a little pocket with the fruit bowl die. We're not gonna, we'll, we'll create a pocket to tuck things in, but I just think that's cute, we'll be using this. Now, my idea for today, I usually, when I see a stamp, the first thing that comes to mind, that's what I like to do. And I thought it'd be cute to have a bowl of peaches and then have a little mouse sticking out of the fruit bowl and then one little mouse eating one of the, the peach slices and I thought we'd make a friendship card so to do that we're gonna be, we're gonna be using the pretty pink posh mouse friends stamp set I like this little mouse although we just need the bottom uh, the top half of this little mouse and then I like the guy little guy that's sitting down so we'll be using this along with the coordinating dies for our card today I always like to start with my background so we're gonna do a little bit of stenciling I'm bringing in two Pretty Pink Posh stencils um, that are over at the shop. These aren't new. These are just have been in the shop, but they're they're probably my favorites because you know I like stripes, and the cloudy scene just makes a really whimsical card. This is the layered cloud stencil. It's a two-piece stencil set, and then this one here is the diagonal stripes stencil. I believe I'll link it down below to give you the correct name. But I thought for my background. We will stencil on a peachy color cardstock. And then for my fruit bowl, I always like to have a home for my scene. And so I thought we'd create a little cloudy scene um, for my fruit bowl to, um, to have a home on. <laughs> so we are going to start first with the clouds. I mentioned this is a two-piece layering set. Now... I wanted um, a neutral background, so to do that, I'm bringing in some gray ink. This is Simon Says Stamps Earl Gray ink, and you know, I don't want to. I don't want the card to be dreary, <laughs> so I'm going to go really light with the gray ink on my background. I want it just to be subtle, so I'm going to add a little bit of color. Just mildly we're going to go over this now i do want to go a little bit dark because we have a layer and i want to be able to see the the multiple layers but i think this is just the perfect amount and i did put it in the corner here that way i can easily line it up in the same corner so we'll add this one to the corner and then i'll add a little more ink Maybe going a little bit lighter over this one. Like I said, I don't want it to be dreary. So I think that's just the right amount. It doesn't look like you're even putting any ink on there. Let me show you. But you can see the layers behind it. So this panel's done. All I have to do is trim it down and I'll do that right now. Since I put it in the corner, there is a little bit of an edge, so I'm going to cut at the left edge and then the bottom. I'm going to trim it to three and three quarters by five. So it's not too dreary. I'll put that off to the side, and then we're going to do a little bit of blending with our diagonal stripes. Oh. This is called pinstripes, not diagonal stripes. We will tack this down. Now this one I want for a tone on tone. So I'm going to bring in my blending brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of my orange ink. And 
And I'm not worried about the middle. I just want to get the edges. Now, I'm ink blending on a card front panel. I'm going to turn it. You could also do use a watermark ink and maybe heat emboss with some clear embossing powder. I think that would work also. Okay, I'm going to take this panel. I have a little bit of an edge here. And so what I'm going to do is trim that away. And it may need this since I'm trimming this away, I may need to trim my card base. Just a hair. You can see it just I'm just trimming a little bit away. So if you need to trim your card base just a hair, then that's okay. Let's go ahead and layer this on our card base. And I did have to trim off a little bit, but we're good to go now. My cloud panel, and we're going to layer this on our card base as well. Most always, my unless it's a slim line, most always my card bases are A2. Now I'm going to put this off to the side and we are going to do some stamping with our fruit. I'm just going to use an acrylic block and we will grab our images. I mentioned the peach was so cute. I will stamp that along with the wedge. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment that says you're a peach too. And we'll end up trimming that out. I'm going to ink up my images with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And we'll go ahead and stamp this. Perfect. And I'm going to keep my ink out and then I'm going to put these away and I'll grab my little mice. I will go ahead and ink our little mice. We'll stamp these. Wonderful. Now I want a, a bowl filled with fruit. I'm only stamping one now, but off camera. I'll stamp some more because I want to color them all the same way. So I'm going to zoom in. I'll play a little bit of music while I color. Before I zoom in, I want to share with you the colors that I'll be using. These are the colors I'm going to use. And then now I'll zoom in. I'll play a little bit of music while I color. And when I'm done coloring, I'll catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. The mice are always super easy. I just, kept, for the most part, kept them gray, and I didn't color in the bottom half of this little mouse. So I'm gonna die cut everything out using the coordinating dies. And, um, and then we will, actually, while we're also die cutting, I'm gonna take some blue cardstock. take our fruit bowl and I'm going to die cut out this as well. Let me show you. I separated the stripes here and I'm going to die cut this out also. 
So I'll duck it this out, my fruit bowl, and then I'll be right back. Everything is die cut, and you can see I also colored in a few more of my peaches. Um, and then I, um, this little guy looks a little funny because I cut off his tail. It got caught on the side of my die cutting machine, so I just cut it off. We're not going to worry about that because we are not going to um, show that part. I just wanted his arms, which I'm going to cut a little slit in. So I could tuck something underneath here. And I think that is fine. And then for this little guy, I'm going to cut, um, I want to cut his arm out. This is how I do it. You see the curve of his tummy? I'm going to use my scissors as a guide. You see the curve of his tummy? I am going to use my scissors and cut along that line until I get to his hand and then I will cut around his hand and it looks really kind of funny there's just the tummy part but if I tuck something under there you're really not going to be able to see the tummy so that's a little tip okay so that's cut out I'm going to go ahead and add my detail layer to my fruit bowl. Don't you just love the stitch detail on here? I'm going to use my glue behind these pieces. And I'm just going to center them in between the stitches. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We have a little bit of dimension there. Now to give it a little more dimension, I'm going to take that same gray ink that we use for our cloudy background. I have the brush on my desk. I'm gonna add a little shading to the left and to the right. And also a little bit on the bottom. I put adhesive around on the bottom of my bowl, but only around here. I didn't put any at the top or any over here because we're going to do some tucking with this. So I'm going to layer both of these together. And then I'll flip this around and we're going to layer it with some foam tape on our card. That's a good spot. Okay, now we're going to take this little guy. I'm going to add some adhesive behind it. And I'm going to put a foam square behind the top of him. He's going to go in first. And remember we cut his hand. So his hand can kind of overlap on the bowl. Like that. I think that's really cute. <laughs> okay. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and fill in our background with our peaches. The ones that are in the bowl, I'm not going to add any adhesive, um, any foam tape to. And the ones behind it, I'm not either. And you know, I think I have six of my fruit. I'm going to color in and die cut out one more. I think that would be perfect. So I'll be right back. So I cut out one. I colored in and cut out one more. And seven just seems to be the magic number for the peaches. Because we want it to be kind of piled high. <laughs> Not too much dimension though, which is which is nice. Now I'm gonna take this little guy, we'll flip this around. And I did color in one. So I'll flip this little guy around, but, but before I um, add foam tape, I'm gonna add adhesive. Like so, and then we can add adhesive behind him. Or maybe we should have this little guy holding it. Should 
we have this little guy holding it. For finishing touches, I'm going to bring in some pretty pink posh sparkling clear jewels. And we're going to add a few gems around our image. I'll just use my glue for that. I think that's just the right amount. A few little gems. Super cute. Fruit bowl. Super cute. Um, fruit salad. <laughs> and I um, I think it's a fun release. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I'll leave the entire release down below. Um, it's super fun and I, I think you'll, you'll um, really like it. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.